Hello, welcome back to another video tutorial here at Geek and Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Today's tutorial we're going to do in Cinema 4D, and you can do probably the same thing in any other program. Uh, and it's going to be making this ring from the Lord of the Rings trilogy series. It's a fairly easy, really easy uh, model to create. Um, what I want to focus on more than anything else is not the creation of the modeling, uh, the creation of the model and the subdivision, that's all very basic, but the selection of polygons and the uh, manipulating of the UV maps to only select the part of the model that we need to and UV that and uh, completely abandoning the rest. And if you are fairly new to uh, playing around with UVs and texture mapping objects, uh, this may have be this may be of great use to you. So let's get started in Cinema 4D. I'm going to choose a tube, and the inner radius. I'm going to bring that out to about. I'm just eyeballing this till to what I think looks like a ring and the rotation segments. I'll keep that at 36. For the cap segments, I'm going to create three. And for the height seg segments, I want to create three. Okay. Simple enough. I'm going to go ahead and make this object editable now. Because, it, because I'm working in Cinema 4D and this object has caps on it, I need to optimize the mesh. So I'm going to come down here to optimize. Now, you want to make sure you're on point-in-point point mode and have nothing selected, then right-click and choose your Optimize. Okay, now I want to just, um, just start shaping this to where it looks like a ring. So I'm going to hit my U and then my L key, which will make a loops, uh, so loop selection of that inner ring, and hold down Shift and select the outer one. Come here to my scaling tool and I'm just going to scale that out. And now I'm going to U and L, select that one, that one, that one, that one, scaling tool. And I'll scale this out. And now it has a little bit of a curve on it, so where it looks like kind of like a, a modern comfort band. Okay, let's uh, let's do UL again. Select that loop at the top up there and select that middle one. Scaling tool and I'm just going to scale this upwards which also scales it downwards uh, on the bottom as well. And let's select U and L. Let's select these other ones. scaling tool and I'm just going to bring this up so that when you look on it at an angle it has a soft round profile to it. Okay and finally U and L select that loop of edges that one this inner one and that bottom inner one so all four of these are selected and I'm just going to bevel those, bevel them in just a little bit. Let's see how that looks. That looks fine. Okay, we have all the subdivisions on this that we need to have. I'm going to hold down Alt and then just press my uh, Hypernerbs icon. And we don't need all of these subdivisions. And with kind of a, a bare number of polygons, we have a very respectable looking ring. Piece of cake. Click on my Hypernerbs object, right click, and I'm going to make this current object uh, into its uh, a separate object and where it's editable now. Now I'm going to switch on over here. Actually, while I'm still here, 
Um, let's come over here to Polygon Selection Mode, UL. I'm going to select that group, that group. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to grow that selection to about right there. And then, actually, let me just click off. I should do all of these at the same time. UL, I'm going to select that middle one and this middle one. And now I'm going to hit Grow Selection. And I don't think I got that, in that middle one in there. Let's try this again. Select that one, that one, and let's grow that. Oh, well. There we go. Now I got all the ones I need. Oop, I need to get that one as well. Okay, I've selected the inner polygons and the outer polygons. I'm not worried about the top ones and the bottom ones. I'm going to come up here to Selection and click on Set Selection, and that creates for me a polygon selection tag right there. Now I don't need those selected anymore. I'm going to come over here to my UV paint tool layout. <coughs> Click on my polygons and this is the default layout that it's given me. If I want to reselect just those polygons that I had previous selected, previously selected, remember these inner ones and these, uh, the inner ones and the outer ones, all I got to do is just double click on this selection tag. I want to enable show UV mesh. And that will select all of my polygons. Now, can't do anything with it just yet. We need to have a material applied to it. So I'm just going to double click there right click on my uh, sphere here, texture channels, and choose color. I'm going to create a color channel, which will bring up this window. And I'm going to make it a 20 by 48 by 20 by 48, because um, the lettering on this needs to be detailed. So I need to have a high resolution and large size texture map. We'll cut it down later with uh, playing around. Okay, so with my polygon selected, only the ones that I want, I'm going to hide my unselected ones. I don't need those right now. I'm going to come over here to my, U, my U, uh, Relax UV tab. I'm going to hit Apply a couple times and that will relax the UV. Now, it creates them in this funky uh, arrangement and that's fine. I'm just going to select a couple of them click on select connected. I'm going to hold down my number six key and I'm just going to rotate this till it's horizontal. Select a couple of those, select connected and rotate this. Move this into place until these are uh, lined up. And that's fine. Select all of them. And hold down number five, and I'm just going to scale them down. There we go, so that they fit right in there. And I'll put them in the bottom. Actually, uh, select connected. I want a little bit more space between these. Okay, one is obviously larger than the other, because the inner radio diameter is smaller than the outer, and that's that's fine. Okay, unhide all. I want to... Um, enable all of my polygons now. Let me go and um, uh, let me reselect these. There we go. I'm going to invert my polygon selection and select. I want to invert it. Not all of my tools are showing up working in a small screen. There we go. Okay, these are all the other polygons other than the ones that I have laid out. And I have absolutely no use for them. So I'm just going to scale them down really small. And I'm only doing this to get them out of the way. I have zero use for them. Scale them down till you have absolutely, you can't even see them anymore. And I'm going to just put them right in between there. Okay, now we've got our texture map 
with our polygons on it. And if you notice, the size of this texture map is pretty large, and we're only utilizing a small amount of it. So we can cut it down. So what I'm going to do is come up here to UV Edit, and I'm going to choose, let me, actually I should, drag this on over and apply this material to my object. I'm going to come over here to UV Edit, and what I want to do is I want to fit the canvas to the UV. Right now it's grayed out, and the reason is because my object was not selected. So I'm going to select my object, come up here to UV Edit, Fit Canvas to UV, and now it shrinks down my, my uh, texture map to fit the UV layout that I've got. Okay, what I want to do now is select only the, the UVs that I want to apply a texture to. So I'm not going to select those in the middle. So with these selected, I'm going to select Connected. Come over here to my Paintbrush tool. Click on Colors. I'm just going to choose a black color. And that's fine. Uh, click over on Attributes. And let's scroll down. I want the hardness at 100, and I'll bring the size down to 1. And now it's very small. OK, come back and make sure my UVs are selected. Come up here to Layer, Outline Polygons. And what that will do is it will take my paintbrush and create an outline of all of my polygons. So we are done with this. Let's come over here to File, Save Texture As and I'll just save it as a JPEG, save it on my desktop, and I'll call it Ring UV Map Test. Okay, and I'm going to export my ring as a wavefront object. We'll call this Ring Yeah, I'll just overwrite it. Okay, we are completely done with the creation of this, uh, and that's the end of this part of the tutorial. What I'm going to do is uh, start up a second one, and that will bring us into Photoshop, where, where we will create our texture, and then we'll finish up in View, rendering this object. So that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching here at Geek at Play Studios. My name is Gary Miller. Have a good day.